What's up ladies and gents, today I will be showing you guys the video for uh, Zombies in Spaceland. Yeah, so that punch that that, that rapper's so, uh, got, those let's take a look into on. it. It looks actually looks pretty, pretty fucking pretty cool. Deadly. I don't know if you guys seen the trailer uh, or not yet. Peek in at, just at came out the other day. Have some some people shouting out to us, which is super cool. Well, let's uh, keep an if eye I see out. any questions come through, uh, I'll certainly take a look and maybe answer some of the questions on on some of the that things ATM, that you guys are basically, seeing in the zombies in space. You can share your money with other people. Um, so uh, you got to keep passing really your money, because uh, well, in case you want to use that, it later, because um, if you die, all your money's gone. You get to restart all over. But the, you can put uh, your money in the ATM, and it'll still be there once you revive, to, get revived, um, or whatever it is. Efficiently, you know, there's is a really terrible feeling. You know, you've banked ten thousand dollars cash, um, and you, you've got this amazing arsenal of weapons and perks, and then you go down, and you've you've lost dough, you lost all your weapons. But we have this ATM system that you can walk up to, right? You can deposit your cash. And so if you were sitting around on that 10 grand, you could deposit that 10 grand. And if you went down, you could come back and pick it up later. You could deposit it so that one of your friends uh, could go and take some of that cash as well. Uh, so that's a really, really beneficial system yeah, that we have going on. basically explaining so Everybody always uses that whenever what your just, teammates are uh, down, you're the last one alive, you know, you want to dump some cash in because you know if your teammates come back up or if someone enters into the afterlife, and yeah, I don't know if the zombies still come out like uh, out of walls or anything, because I always see them coming well, out the ground. The now, so I think that might be a new thing. In the living they don't come out uh, the walls the or windows anymore. Uh, they come out the ground. For zombies in space land, uh, is the ability to sort of have a little bit of engagement after you've gone down, after you've sort of fallen uh, by the wayside and died out of the experience. So typically, you know, you go into and then this, this game, out, or uh, what well, this first zombie map is basically to, in, you know, in the 80s. The the um, um, but our take on and this, and by that uh, Wilder guy, the really movie producer, that, I guess he's making different films, so, and the, you know, each the map is going to be in a different set. So I think that's pretty cool, too. Uh, I mean, you can play basketball, right? There's a yeah. basketball game that you can interact with. Yeah. Uh, you that's know, in that that whole thing. That's game, basically the perk machine. You shoot, well, you shoot the gumball machine. You can uh, actually earn three. soul power, right? And soul power is the thing that that brings you back to life. Now, this is sort of strategic too, right? Because not only can you use that soul power for bringing yourself back, but you can do it at a specific time. Now, there's always that case that you're hoping that you know the rest of your your team. They can survive the wave. They can bring you back, right? So if you survive that scene, you're you're back in. But what happens when your team, Travis? I like what they're talking they're about too, though. Um, they're calling it's further into the video. You got that soul token, if um, now you can come back to life. Basically, if you, you die, can you can revive yourself. If your partners can't you revive you, you know, save the you can day, still. So have there's a second this, chance to revive yourself strategy, in the uh, afterlife you only have three and you don't use i'm not gonna spoil it so i'm just gonna let the video play and it'll show you you know what i'm talking about oh no oh they actually do jump out the ground and the windows too so it's a mixture never mind he's got a new yeah, that nuke really wipes everybody out, and I love that we've we've added these little bits of effects. You know, we have yeah, sort of so the cute. the wave that comes in that you can kind of see it clear yeah. the the area, the burning ember effects that are left behind. It's just a really cool moment to kind of see happen. I love so the map though. I've space. seen, I saw this one, this video once, yeah, now they and on the it's power in this huge. Spaceship, but you can actually see like, just walking it's in crazy there, there's a lot huge. of stuff in this scene that they can actually interact with, uh, stuff that can really turn the tide for them. Now, we had talked in the past about some of the traps that we've had in this, this map. Um, and really, the, the, the crux of it is that we've turned park attractions into these things that do terrible but wonderful things to the undead. Um, so while we were in Journey to Space, uh, we got to actually take a glimpse at one of the traps that are in there, although it doesn't have the power activated yet. Um, it is one of those traps that actually can take out a really large, large volume of traps. Oh, of no, zombies, sorry. Now, really cool, something that's happening on Adrian's screen right now. He's being told that he has a Fate and Fortune card. Now, these Fate and Fortune cards, which you see in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, like the Mana Up and the Eagle Eyed, you know, he can trigger these at any time. And now, and those perks, I, those are really cool, though, because it's not like the combo machine where you, right? you know, so tell us whatever how, you get, that's what you have to use. With, the, with that so you Fortune card, um, zombies, you get, I believe, like a set of points, four right? or five cards. Um, and the way you use them is and you can you, you can choose out of all five which one you want to use first, which one you want to use second, third, whatever. So that's pretty cool too. Left bumper, basically you just activate it like a super, and there you go, you get your card. And you can see the icon on the top right is uh, slowly but surely trickling down. That shows you how much time you have to actually gain those effects.
That's right. Now I saw I saw a question come in here. I'm sorry that I missed your name. I wish I could have given you a shout out. But I saw a question that was asked: Is there a pack a punch in this map? Man, guys, we didn't let you down. There is a pack a punch in this map. However, there is no way we're telling you where it is. You're gonna have to find it. Um, we've left you plenty of cl uh, clues all over the map. Uh, I can tell you that sometimes Fucking clowns the best too, things man. are That's hidden. Clowns right are right. basically so, the trust me, there is a the replacement punch. for the hound dogs really, and black guys, really rock your weapons, which is pretty uh, fucking cool. Give you some really awesome abilities, they explode uh, on you, but um, so I believe they talk about is basically punch. like a one or two Easter hit, guys, we have tons and you'll tons die if, if you get hit or exploded by the clown zombies. Chances are, while we've been streaming this today, there's been bits and pieces that we've kind of shown off to say hey here's the first part to an easter egg so pay close attention to the stream there's definitely things in and around all of space land that are that are pointing out um you know we've, we've got quite a bit hiding under the hood now these guys they're in this special wave right now you notice we've kind of we've dimmed the lights around space Land a little bit the fog has kicked in a little bit and we have these really nasty terrible clowns <laughs> now I, when I was growing up, I didn't have a problem with clowns, but I remember having friends that were terrified of clowns. There, there was this really horrifying movie that came out, Stephen King's It, uh, this like made-for-TV thing, and everyone was afraid of clowns after that. So, of course, we had to go back to the 80s and bring back terrifying clowns because Stephen King's It really did this awful thing to people about clowns. And also there's this really weird thing that's happening that people are dressing up as clowns for some reason right now, and I don't understand why. Um, clearly, we need Batman to come out and, and stop the clowns, but... Um, people dressing up as clowns. So our clowns are obviously much more dangerous than the people dressing up as clowns. That's they a weird up station. Uh, fire I don't know what they said. I believe it's like and hysterical. It's kind of like a um, puzzle. You got to collect a certain you, amount right? like, to figure out like a step pace. or a next at you step. All the time. Um, and the really, really dangerous thing is or, yeah, or to once they stuff get to you, and that's they, blow, uh, they can actually cause the other zombies that are around them to start uh, having sort of that. Well, I think of it as a as a monkey bomb, but it's a So Adrian is kicking off one of our traps here. And this is our fireworks trap. This is one of those things that... And uh, I'm trying not to talk too much just so you can watch the, the video and listen to uh, the, zombies, the creators uh, of it. The, the, uh, souvenir stations. You can craft these on the fly and then plant them and place them wherever you want. So this is giving you the ability to create and craft traps uh, and place them anywhere you that want one, in the I, map. I, I, this and looks really cool. The only thing I don't like about really, the really the map adapted. and the characters uh, and stuff, it looks really... the right location with the right volume Like a really cartoony game. take out a really large volume of them, which is fantastic to watch happen. And of course we wanted to have fun, so if you look up at the fireworks while they're, while they're exploding, we have explosions that have cool designs in them, like skulls and happy faces, because we wanted to hide stuff like that. So there's always little things like that that we have hiding around in there. And it looks like uh, we're at scene 7, so the guys are making good progress. You know, it's right around this time, in our reveal trailer, we had this really nasty zombie called the Brute. Uh, he's our park's mascot, and he comes out... Uh, pretty much to lay waste to every human being he oh, sees. Yeah. Um, it's right around this time. I think the brute's probably going to be making this is his probably way like the best the room park. too, man. If you're like uh, a hardcore much, gamer, you, you, you would, would really guys, appreciate this room. Uh, like they're either going to run or look for new to weapons. Start out a game uh, that Adrian's rocking right now. within a gaming <laughs> arcade. Like brute that's brute crazy. Not at all. <laughs> Plus, uh, <laughs> when you can play all the games that are in now, there too, it's fucking cool as fuck. <laughs> and you get tokens, you know, so it's basically like an arcade instead of yeah. a fucking video game. It's a, it's a good and with the tokens, <laughs> you, know, you can go buy items. Smart, you can get new guns games, or grenades, um, whatever. See? Tickets, tickets so what? 60. Like, 60 it's 60 crazy. Tickets. Now, these tickets, the cool thing about it is, Adrian, if you wouldn't mind, can you take us over to the prize booth? Yeah. Let's take a peek in there because... There's actually, uh, come on, give him a little sneak peek at, at something cool. Look at there, that, right? that's fucking crazy. There might crazy. be weaponry laying around here. They brought out there might be, a game, an arcade know, into a video game. In those prize booths. So Legit, go buy tokens, or we'll go booth, play the game, get, get your really tokens, cool and after you win you survive a little your bit tokens, you can now, go and redeem your prize. Arcade, like, that's cool as fuck. There's some really cool stuff in there that uh, you can buy with tickets. So, by all means, take zombies out with traps. Um, and, and come back into the arcade and uh, earn some of these tickets because it definitely definitely get you some cool stuff. Yeah, and there's tons of places to spend your tickets. You know, you have the arcade, which has some of the most powerful and fun stuff to use. You get the awesome. Ah, and then the number one thing in this arcade the room map, is the dance floor, and, and you guys know why? Because he fucking break dance. That's fucking awesome as fuck. Oh man, that one's a fun one. That's my favorite one, Armageddon. 
Yeah. Basically like a nuke that just destroys all zombies around you. It's super powerful, so fun. It's a great strategy when you have the group chasing you though. So there's Adrian's cards popping up again, and, and as you can see, he can flip through that list and choose any one of his Almost cards. Died. Now he can actually have multiple cards active at once, which is actually pretty awesome too, right? Yeah. So you can have one that, you know, maybe it does a certain amount of damage with bullets fired. You can always ha have We're that sneaky. We're real sneaky. <laughs> Is there a way to have more than five perks? There's got to oh, be a way to have more than five perks, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, there definitely is. It is. I like the rope. I can't remember how like really do it, cool. guys. That's, okay, I <laughs> think that's a really cool thing to add I'm, to the game. You guys are smart out there. I know you guys are going to figure this out. It'll take some time. But there's definitely... So, this is one of the things I love most about Zombies in Spaceland. This theme park is fully interactive. No, we you have not. You don't just coaster. get to ride the, and, the you roller know, coaster, we, but you I also we get on. Um, we have bumper cars. We have bumper cars. We have bumper cars. the most shots. <laughs> but for real, the roller coaster is so awesome cool. because the roller coaster is taking you around this course. And while it's doing that, it's not just being on a roller coaster. You're getting attacked by zombies. This is Spaceland. We're not just going to take you for a fun, a fun ride. And yes, want, it's not just shooting you. the, you know, that are the spots that pop These up in the roller coaster. You also this is not an have to worry about the zombies so coming out. And I don't think the regular zombies are pretty sure they're just clown the zombies, so they will explode. Six and a five. The person <laughs> so on the you left, be careful with person that. on the right, they have their own score. So if Travis and I were competing right now. Travis knows he kicks my butt at this all the time. But you know, we compete at this, and we're trying to get the more points. Why? Because we get tickets for doing good. And what did we say earlier? Those tickets net you good stuff. And if you want good stuff, you gotta have the tickets, guys. And you do gotta be the so best. You get do if you want the, the tickets the for you know the coaster. Parties. Try not to get taken you down. You do have Those to get the most shots. So whoever gets the most shots gets the tokens. They'll take you down pretty fast. So. Try not to get hit by I like them. how they had the, the and little scoreboard on the right, too, so yeah. that's cool. You know, like I said, we love to hide stuff, so I'd spend some time, you know, taking some tours on this roller coaster. It's, oh. it's one of the more interesting places in the park to check out. Definitely do it with a teammate. It's very difficult solo, but, it, you know, I know there's good players out there who are definitely going to do this very easily in solo and knock out as many targets as they can. And he's smacking his teammates. So good cool. job. Like, high fives. It's all like right. high legit fives all around. In our so we got 80 tickets. Off. I mean, that's a pretty good you know, score um, considering uh, we have things in the park cool that you can get for 50 or 60. Everything in um, it right there. Stuff. So we have that scoreboard. So you get to come off there and say, hey, <laughs> this guy right here, this guy. <laughs> so, you know, of course, you know, there's there's lots to do, you know, players are going to play the map repeatedly. We hope that you guys come in and play it a gazillion times or more. Um, but we have a we have a ranking system, you know, we have this system or, or sorry, a, a, a progression system where we want you, the we magic want you wheel. to get better. That's cool as fuck. So the more that you play, right, you're sorry about the guys. My levels, you'll be able to progress, fell, but uh, yeah, basically further, the further box is uh, and you have more and more goodies that become it's a wheel of fortune thing. Well, I'm fucking wheel of fortune. We want that grind to be fun. It's the wheel. You know, for, for us, cool. we play this thing, forget it. I mean, I can't even tell you how many hours I've lost in Zombies Spaceland. And I'm going to log even more because I want to play with all the community out there. But there's a lot to do in here, guys. I mean, there's there's tons and tons, and we're really, honestly, we're just we're scratching the surface. I like the sniper. Um, well, at least that sniper that, he has right now that looks uh, really fucking we cool. I don't, I didn't like yet. the first one uh, he had on him. We should probably start. Let, let's start spreading around. Let's, let's yeah. get a little further into this yeah, place, so this Adrian. Is Triton, right now, it's a snow theme, snow theme section of the map. Here we go. So. Travis sort of mentioned that this is the snow theme section of the map. You know, it's important for us uh, to kind of make it feel like when you go into each location of this space, we wanted players to feel like they were in a theme park. And if any of you out there have been to places like Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm or Disney World, uh, when you walk into those I areas, I think that's what they really you know, like. They have a if very that's really what they wanted, they did really good with it because every section you is, you you know, so as you're traversing every through section this area, you go to, there's the alien you know, section, the, the area, arcade room, you start seeing all that the ice, snow place, the roller really coaster through. Through. spot. And we want you to also feel like, like you can you feel like you know you're in a different room. I want the feel of that area to be different. You want the, the gameplay in that space to feel different. So in Triton, we have coaster. the ability for you to be on, on an upper level, uh, zombies to be on a lower level. So we sort of have that that, that gameplay that keeps oh, zombies that's sweet. at bay. Yeah. But then we have some of these tighter areas, you know, like when you're coming down that slide that we funnel you in like in, in Cosmic Way here where it opens up a little bit, but then we go into tight funnels. And then you go into this, this new area, which is our Kepler area. But look area. how open you know, the map is. This is, sort of is. Like crazy. Area. And so when you're in this space, <laughs> Oh, so that's trouble. He spawned on me. So when you're in this space, all of a sudden the, the corridors get much tighter, and you're also dealing with more, you know, you're dealing with less available items. You know, the yeah. traps are fewer and further between in this space as well. Oh and we got Brute, the mascot for the, he has come to join for the, the theme park. Uh, Brute loves long, slow walks in the park at night. 
Um, he loves candy and flowers, so please hang out with Brute all the time. He's a good guy. Uh, he might chew your head off, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a really good guy to me. So as you can see, guys, I mean, there is a ton to see. There is a ton to Look do. Look at the magic wheel. That's cool um, as fuck. Wait, is, is it open in every map? Touch on today that we, we definitely got to let people know about? I feel I, I feel like I want to... I wanna... I want to give him one more little thing. What's up? What's up? One little thing. We got to give him a little bit more. Yeah, that's your discretion. I'll let you, I'll let oh, you do man. that. Oh, there we go. Got the do we do it, guys? That's fucking dope. There's that police officer. This little chunky dude with a little bit of extra health. Do we have the power on in this area? Yes, we do. It's like we do. All right. Frost chomp. Did you guys already take out the brute? I think so. Yeah, you gotta get rid oh, of and the, then that the brute fire that you just on the ground. That's a new uh, will, perch. He will travel or the waves will drink you. whatever. So if you complete scene 11, basically if you, if you slide the on the ground, it'll make a fire. Like it'll bring the yeah, it'll bring the zombies. And guess what? If another brute spawns, you will just have two brutes, and then another Holy brute, shit. and another brute. Oh so, shit, that yeah, motherfucker's <laughs> big. You want to take the brutes down fast, guys. Otherwise, you will end up with lots of brutes. And lots of brutes in the park is probably not a oh, happy space man. Not this a happy space film, so. Adrian, would nice. you do me a favor? Yeah. It's actually would pretty good, me, please? Okay. You guys, we're going to give you one last to treat. Yeah. We're going to take you guys <laughs> to the Afterlife Arcade. Uh -oh, who else is down? So we're going to give you a, a sneak peek at the Afterlife Arcade. Now, this is that place that we talked about. That's cool. That looks like a, you know, an old video clip when you're about and to die. This is something that we feel oh, really, really let, changes. Though. Can you guys let them bleed out, please? This is something that we really feel changes the experience. Um, oh. the, the really awesome uh, part about this is that um, in, in the Afterlife Arcade, not only are you still in games, but you can jump back into spectate at any time. So if you choose to say, hey, you know what, I actually <laughs> want to spectate, won't let him I, want die. To, um, I, I want to see what the other guys are doing, you actually can do that. So it's, it's actually pretty cool. Let's see if the other guys let him die. These guys are too good of teammates here. They, don't, they, they won't let his man <laughs> play out. <laughs> There you go. I think he gets it. I think. That, nope. No, no, he did. No, nope, he's still she trying. She didn't get it. <laughs> She's trying. I mean, the graphics aren't too bad. There you go. Oh, I would just wish they weren't as, you know, cartoony. Give me one more shot. I would make blonde jokes. I really had my doubts girl. on this new Gosh. zombies thing, but it looks, wouldn't. it looks pretty decent. I mean, I haven't played it myself, but it comes out in I, the first day. So yeah, it comes out in two two more days, midnight the third. So I think we might make it. I'm probably gonna play it all night. Twenty seconds, guys. It's gonna be and short. And we'll end the stream in 14 seconds, right before. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. So interesting about the Afterlife oh. Arcade is you'll always be able to return to the Afterlife Arcade when you bleed out. Uh, it's a location where you can remain engaged with the game, whether that's playing something within the Afterlife Arcade uh, or if that's just hanging out and watching the spectate. So you can actually do that. So a lot of the games that you saw located in and around the Spaceland Arcade are actually located within um, our Afterlife Arcade, except there's no fee because who are you going to pay? Everybody's dead, right? So uh, you can actually come in here. You can play the shooting gallery. You can... Fill up that meter that's at the bottom that's of the screen cool there where it says soul dude. power. So um, after you complete like, the game, literally, it tallies up just like we do with They tickets, made this whole game, um, all the points that you've you know, earned, and then, over in course, 80s away, theme park, uh, and soul power, which is awesome. <laughs> they hit the ball with this one. Like, I got it. Literally, that's you feel like you're nice in a theme park. Here is you feel like you're in the 80s. And that for a gamer like myself, like I think that's really fucking cool. I love like old gaming stuff. And this just, you know... In fact, it that hits last you there, you know, you feel like you're there. So that's pretty crazy. And zombie zoom. So again, this is this is uh, this is the afterlife arcade. And so, you know, we'll we'll give Adrian the, the chance to kind of get out <laughs> Dude, of here. This we have Alex awesome Jacobson boy. and Adrian uh, those zombies up there, which is actually cool. Some of our, our QA team. Oh, make it. Okay, I've got a new plan. Oh, All right, so and he revives so himself. Like that's crazy. I don't know if there's a limit to how many times you can revive yourself. Lost and found. But I think that's really cool. If you your partners can not save you, it like, oh fuck, to play in you guys can get me. And lose your weapons. Nope. And then have well, to get I got myself, you guys. To get all those weapons back, if you have enough cash, 
you can go back and get it. So what we talked about that ATM earlier, if Adrian had banked Oh, they cash, have that uh the grave <laughs> uh, the, right the grave now. thing where you know if you lose all your guns, guns. you can go yeah, rebuy you them and you can get all your guns that you had before as long as you have the money. <laughs> so that's another cool thing they added to this game too. I like it. Man, one hundred dollars, I swear, one hundred dollars that questions off your street. Either there's an Easter egg for like thriller for the zombies. Yes, they do. They do. That is a water. Or they're at least gonna add song to the song to right now. Get his cash and recover his guns. Think of that. Think of that. Oops. There you go. Oh, you can get that no time now. All right, let me see really fast if I can grab a couple of questions off your stream. Mayor McBlunt, your guns shoot water? Yes, they do. They do. That is a water gun. Uh, it's like those uh, classy games that you see at the carnival when you you shoot the little target with your stream of water. Oh, I think she's talking about the, the gun in the arcade, please. Uh, the Mr. I, like, I don't see any water coming out that pistol. Is it supposed to be hard? Bruh, you ain't seen nothing <laughs> yet. Uh, we have the kitchen sink is still waiting to fall on all these guys' heads, I promise you. Uh, we also have the guys outfitted with some really nice uh, Fate and Fortune cards, which you're going to have to earn and unlock those guys. They're not all just going to come uh, for free at the beginning. I like this, though, because the zombies look like they're, uh, you know, a decent How many Easter eggs you got for us from Noah J456? You want, you really, Noah J456. You but really I heard that, that later on, it'll, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Where's Hasselhoff? I got a lot. We got a lot. Where's Hoff? Hoff is in here. And I Hoff love that they here. say there's a lot uh, of Easter eggs and looks like they would have a lot of Easter eggs. Don't forget. This fucking map is huge as fuck. It's there for a reason. I'm expecting, like, a shitload of Easter Easter eggs and secret things, you uh, know. Let's see, Daredevil 1003. So I'm really looking forward can we to that, pay sure. for, together for a door? Yes, you can. I love that question. We have the team door buy system. And, and I like this too. That together. you know, you can. So people, the three of us you know, are playing, can help out each other and pay, oh, look, help pay for things. It's the hall. And there is Mr. So, yes, Hop can. right so, there can put in a as the amount. DJ. Can put in so that's fucking cool. And I feel like he's gonna be, you know, need a lot of help with them. All right, so we're gonna wrap up, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on the stream. Thanks, guys. The game is here this week. Right, well, you guys, I there's that it. video for you we guys. Uh, hearts and souls keep in touch, man, because as soon as it comes out, I'm going to make a video ASAP. And, and I'm hoping everybody land. else gets it, and it's hopefully, you know, you it doesn't disappoint my, give disappoint you a nice little behind us. The look. And I'm glad you, you guys know, got fingers, to see this high fingers quality crossed, look um, at our intro Follow me on YouTube, Awful Gamer, and Instagram, Awful Gamer, AWFL underscore G-A-M-E-R. So thank All you right, for joining us on this very festive time. Halloween 2019.